Hello and welcome to Octopus Do. I'm Christian Ross. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. As you guys know, I've been using my Zeron tweezer nose pliers for chain mail along with one of Dale Cougar Armstrong's pliers and I really, really love them. So I reached out to Zeron and they sent me some great pliers. Well, I could hardly wait because I've been sitting on this box for a day because I wanted to share the excitement with you guys. I figured I would do an unboxing video as well. So this is pretty exciting. Um, hey, let's turn this into a tutorial. <laughs> How to make an unboxing video. Okay, the first thing that you need is a box, obviously. So I've got my box and Let's see, you need something to open the box with. So um, a knife right here. And uh, <laughs> I happen to also have some coffee. That's optional. So I have my multi-tool, so I can't wait to see. This is so exciting. I love getting new tools. I always say you have to have the right tools for the job. All right, so I'm going to open this up. Being very careful not to put the knife all the way down into the package. Like you guys have never opened a box before. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, wait a minute. Um, okay, this is not pliers. <laughs> I thought the box was a little bit big. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, guys, if you don't know, I have the best husband in the world. And, um, I didn't know. Okay, this is the original Stanley Thermos. My grandfather had one like this. And, um, wow. Oh, <laughs> so, um, I love my coffee. He got me a thermos. The productivity is not going to stop. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, I've got to go find um my pliers i'll be right back okay unboxing video with a smaller package but still it's a little bit heavier so this is exciting all right let's try this again we'll skip forward this part open the package so. that's some serious packing okay these are nice and safe tools. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Uh, wow, okay. A little extra packing there to make sure everything is nice and secure. Oh, wow, look at that. I had no idea. This is so exciting. Okay, I have uh, oh, the four in one crimper here. Let's see. Set that there. Uh, oh, oh, I have goosebumps here. Oh, oh my goodness, look at this. I have goosebumps. <laughs> okay. Um, the Kevlar fiber shears. Oh my goodness. I'm going to put links to all of this for you, so don't worry. A tweezer nose pliers smooth, number 450. Number 483. I have goosebumps on my calves now. Um, okay, it doesn't have the label on this one, but we'll open it up and see what it is. Chisel nose pliers, I have been waiting for this. I remember when these were made, I was at the bead and button show and uh, I saw a flyer for it. Oh my goodness, I couldn't wait. Short nose, smooth flyer. Okay, uh, High tension scissors, number 440. This is, oh, the 9200 micro shear. The maxi shear flush cutter. I can't wait to get into talking about these shear cutters. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see. The Micro Shear 9100F. Okay. 
Music wire shear. Oh, wow. I hadn't even heard of this one. Okay, this is exciting. Long flat nose plier number 485. Ooh, there's another one. Ooh, a micro shear number 410. Ooh, okay. All right, and then more packing, obviously, to make sure nothing slides around in there. This little box held such a big treasure. This is exciting. Okay, and packaging here, information, a flyer, uh, Zoran Corp, essential tools for jewelry making, made in the USA. I knew this, this is important, this is very cool. I love supporting home-based businesses. Ah, oh, wow. The MicroShear flush cutter, it tells you a little bit about each one. Ashley, this is my friend Ashley. I got to meet her when I worked at Jewelry Television and she came on, she was a guest. This was pretty exciting. And then they have a YouTube video, uh, Zoran Corp. So I'll get you that information as well. Wow, this is a lot of information to digest. As I learn more about these, I will share more about these. I will do some uh, videos just on the different ones because I tell you what, I've had uh, a chance to play with a lot of the Zeroon pliers through my experience at Jewelry Television and meeting Ashley. And so I've used them and I know that they're good tools. Um, but to have a chance to actually work with them in all of my jewelry making, um, this is just exciting. And one of the things that I know that they really focus on is us chain mailers. And that's really what I'm, I'm very, very excited about because us jewelry makers, us chain mail jewelry makers, we love our precision pliers. So, uh, wow, let's play with some of these. Oh, all right, let's see. I'm just going to set some of these out. This is the micro shear. Tell you what, I'm not gonna go through all of it again. I'm just gonna set these out and let you take a look. Micro Shear 9100F. This is the Micro Shear with the retaining clip. Oh, I can't wait to show you how these work. So basically what happens with these guys is you cut a piece and it holds onto the wire. I'll have to show you all about that so that um, it doesn't flip all over the place. I've got a funny story about that. Maxi Shear Flush Cutters. Now, I've been using this one for years. So this is great for your larger gauge wires, like your copper and things like that. When you're riveting, these are so handy. I love that they have such a variety of shears because you um, use different materials when you're jewelry making and you want to get the right ones. Oh, look at this. All right, this is the uh, scissor and it came with this little cardboard insert so it's not going to poke out and um, destroy any packaging. Now this is great. And you say, why a scissors in uh, a little blade like this? You're going to cut your wildfire, your fire line, 
different things like that that really need a sharp, strong blade. Because if you tried to cut your fire line or your wildfire with a dull pair of scissors, you're just going to be chewing it up. And uh, that's never good. Short nose plier smooth. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm going to be using these for all of my chain mail. Look how small that head is. That's really going to be get, able to get into all the little nooks and crannies and, oh, we're gonna need these. Get these for when we get to dragon scale because you're really gonna have to be very precise with that and this is going to come in so handy. So I'm gonna put these next to my long flat nose. All right, chisel nose plier. Ooh. Yeah, these are the ones I've been waiting for. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Okay, so these have such a wide edge to them. Well, wide in jewelry making sense. They have a wide edge to them, but they have that precision point. So it's not like just a flat nose where it's blunt across. You can reach in to all those nooks and crannies with that point, but still have the stability of having that wide point. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, all right, number 483, what is this? Oh, wow, okay, these are the short flat nose. So we have the long flat nose and the short flat nose. Like that, I love the variety. It's really just the um, length of the jaw. They have the same precision flat tip, but the jaw length is shorter on these. And when making chainmail, I really, really like the shorter jaw on that because um, the fulcrum, basically the distance from that hinge to the tip of the pliers is shorter. And what that does is it means that your hand doesn't have to travel as far to get that opening and closing movement. That's really cool. So long flat and short flat. So I'll move those right next to each other. All right, what do we have next? Oh, okay, the tweezer nose pliers. These are the ones that I've been using for all of the videos. Oh yeah, okay. So this is very, very precise. It's basically, it's your long nose plier like we just saw, but it's a very, very narrow nose. Okay, here's the flat nose, long flat nose, and the tweezer nose, so you can see the difference. That is precision. Put those down and put the tweezer nose right here. Okay, last one, last one. Um, oh, Kevlar fiber shears, oh yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to do some more research to find out the difference of when to use these and the re regular shears, but these are beefy. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Okay, that is just cool. All right, so here are the regular scissor shears and here are the Kevlar. Wow, I can't wait to get into what I can make with these. Oh, all of these have really good springs. That's one thing, thing I really, really, really love about the uh, Zoran brand is because I think it's important to have a spring in your pliers. And that's just for your own use of um, your own muscles and, and tendons and ligaments to make sure that you don't hurt yourself when you're making jewelry. So you squeeze and the spring opens it back up. So you're not putting undue pressure on your hands to open, use your hands to open it back up. That's why um, a pair of scissors that you do have to use, set this down, a pair of scissors that you do have to use to open and close, you're doing this. So there's no spring and that outward motion, it's good exercise, but it could wear on you if you're doing jewelry making for a long amount of time. So it's always good to have the proper tools. Oh my good, I'm, whew, <laughs> this is exciting. Okay, so, wow, 
my tool collection just got a big boost and I'm so excited about this. Look at my plier rack. Oh, wow. Thank you, Sarah. This is really exciting. Wow. Okay. So I promise you, I will give you honest feedback on these in the projects that I'll use them for. And we'll get into uh, features and benefits and things like that a little bit later because I, I couldn't even begin to start right now. But you know what? I am going to use these to add a little charm to one of my bracelets here. Uh, oh, okay, I've got some jump rings here. I've got the aluminum that I was working with on that larger bracelet display. So let me open that up, grab one of these. Wow, I noticed that with this chisel point, it's not just the point. There's not just like a little area that you work with you can use the entire inside of the jaw because it's a straight line. So even though I could come in here with just the edge, I can use that whole jaw line here as a, a, a grabbing surface, basically. Same thing with the small. So I just turn, open that up, grab my little charm, my little Buddha head there. There we go. And that's attached. You know what? I'm going to add my little ohm on there as well. I'll use the same uh, aluminum, which is a silver tone, even though the bead is copper. And we'll see if that fits. And you know what? Even though these are new pliers to me, I'm no longer even thinking about them. They're so easy to use and so natural in my hands. There we go. So now I have two little charms. And that's also, I think, a sign of a good pair of pliers is the fact they're so easy to use and so easy to hang on to. I'm pretty happy with this. Well, you know what? Look forward to more videos using these pliers and I will give you all the information in my videos when I do. And uh, I'll talk about my actual reactions to these because like I said, some of these are very new to me, um, but I'm really excited about this. So until then, um, if you like this video, give me a like subscribe if you want to see more videos click on the notifications so you know when i do more of these and i'll put these in a playlist um, with the zoran pliers so you'll also know when i do those <sighs> well until then i want you to go make something definitely but first pick up your own zoran pliers um so we'll be ready for Dragon Scale. I know I keep teasing you with that, but we are going to get to Dragon Scale very soon. Brush up on your European 4-in-1 and we'll get there. Until next time, see you later. We're gonna need more coffee.